Today is all about giving love to one-handed operators. First, let's talk about why. Why? Because I don't want to live my life like this. I want to live my life like this and then have my other hand free to do other stuff. Hold a drink, walk a dog, use a remote, drive a car. No, I don't do that. Well, I do that. You do that too. We should both stop. So just shut up and admit the fact that one-handed operation matters. And because of that, I have a lot of anticipation for the smaller of Google's two Pixel smartphones. It sports a five inch screen with full HD resolution. It's a high-end device that's powered by a Snapdragon 821 chipset and has four gigabytes of RAM. Easily, this is the most powerful of all the small Android phones on this list, making it a great option for power users that don't want a massive display for whatever reason. Aside from the high-end specs and one of the best cameras that you can get on a smartphone, the Google Pixel also offers a stock Android experience a lot of users simply love. I know I do. However, the design of the device hasn't been all that well received, just because it's kind of generic. The Pixel also definitely isn't the most affordable of the small Android phones you can get your hands on as it retails for $649 for the 32 gigabyte version and $749 for the 128 gigabyte option. And yes, I know there are new Pixels coming out very, very soon and it's very likely that the smaller of those two new Pixels would be on this list too. Watch out for that. But let's talk about a lesser known option and that's the Samsung Galaxy A3 from 2017. It is a compact mid-range device thanks to its 4.7 HD display. It was announced in January and sports a metal frame with a 3D glass back and is water and dust resistant thanks to the IP68 rating. In case you're wondering, this means that it can be submerged in up to one and a half meters of water for around 30 minutes. You'll find the Exynos 7870 chipset under the hood along with two gigabytes of RAM. The smartphone runs Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow with Samsung's custom skin on top. Other things worth mentioning are the 13 megapixel camera, the 2350 milliamp hour battery, and a fingerprint scanner located on the front below the screen. In terms of design, it looks very similar to a lot of other Galaxy smartphones, which can either be a good or bad thing depending on who you ask. It retails for around $280 US and comes in quite a few different colors. While not the very best of these small Android phones on the market, if you're a Samsung fan, this is looking pretty good. And of course, we've got to talk about Sony's Xperia XZ1 Compact. This is the most compact of the small Android phones on this list, as it features the smallest screen, measuring at 4.6 inches. The Xperia XZ1 Compact is the successor to the earlier Xperia X Compact, and it also happens to be one of the first phones that will launch with Android 8.0 Oreo, pre-installed. Even though it is small, it is powerful. It sports the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor. It also has four gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, a 2700 milliamp hour battery. In addition, it has IP68 dust and water resistance and a 19 megapixel rear camera with Sony's new motion eye technology, which is supposed to capture photos a couple of seconds before the user actually takes the photo for better visuals. The phone has an eight megapixel front facing camera, which can switch between a 22 millimeter focal length and a 90 degree field of view for tight selfie pictures, and a 12.5 millimeter focal length and 120 degree field of view for group selfies. Like all Sony phones in the US, it will not have a fingerprint sensor, although other parts of the world will. Now as of today, Amazon is selling this device unlocked for $599. Now let's talk about a device many of you know even less about, and that's the Nokia 3. HMD Global relaunched the Nokia brand for smartphones earlier this year with several different models. At the moment, the smallest of these devices is the Nokia 3 with a five inch 720 display. Inside, there's a MediaTek MT6737 processor running at 1.4 gigahertz, along with two gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, and an eight megapixel camera on the front and the back. It also comes with a 2630 milliamp hour battery and it runs Android 7.0 Nougat. But an update to Android 8.0 Oreo is planned to be released before the end of 2017. And the good news is that you can get the Nokia 3 for as little as $183 unlocked from Amazon in its black color, but the price goes up to $187 for silver white versions and $219 for the all white edition. It's a worthy addition to the best small Android phone list. Next up, the Sony Xperia XA. 
The Xperia XA sports a 5-inch display with small bezels on the left and right sides that really look nice and make the device look more compact. Although its specs won't blow your socks off exactly, the Xperia XA is still a great device. It's powered by the MediaTek MT6755 chipset, has 2GB of RAM, and is equipped with a 13 megapixel primary camera, as well as a dedicated camera button on the right side. It runs Android Marshmallow with Sony's custom skin on top, and packs a 2300 mAh battery that supports fast charging. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a fingerprint sensor on board. Now, the Xperia X8 was released in the US back in July 2016 and retailed for around 280. The device, which comes in graphic black, white, lime gold, and rose gold, can now be yours for as little as $168 on Amazon. Now, I have a lot of first-hand experience with the next best bang for your buck option, and that's the Moto G5. The Moto G5 is a mid-ranger that was announced at the Mobile World Congress 2017. It features a 5-inch Full HD display, is powered by the Snapdragon 430 chipset, and comes with either 2 or 3 gigabytes of RAM. Unlike its predecessor, it features a metal body that makes it look as well as feel premium. You'll find a fingerprint scanner on the front of the device that supports various gestures. You can, for example, swipe left to go back or swipe right to open recent apps. The Moto G5 also sports a removable battery with a capacity of 2800 milliamp hours, a 13 megapixel camera, but doesn't have NFC. It comes in fine gold, lunar gray, sapphire blue in some regions. Now we've had multiple Moto Gs here in our family and they've been fantastic. They're great mid-tier best bang for your buck options. They're more than enough for the average Android user. My wife currently has this phone and she likes it, no complaints whatsoever. And you can get it for $250 US right now here in Canada. Unfortunately, it's not selling in the US at this time. But if you can get it, it's a sweet deal. Well, as someone who runs an online business, I can tell you that I look for tools that make my life easier. And our sponsor, FreshBooks, not only makes this show possible, but they make online payments and accounting much less painful. And how do they do that exactly? Well, you can send clean and professional looking invoices in about 30 seconds. And in about two seconds, you can set yourself up to receive online payments. And you don't have to manually input your receipts. You can take pictures of your receipts with your phone using FreshBooks' mobile apps. And for a 30-day unrestricted trial, you can go to freshbooks.com forward slash Android. And in the section where it says how you've heard about us, fill in Android Authority. Best to check out the show links in the description below for the full article where it talks about more options in that same article. What do you think about my list? Let me know in the comments below or on Twitterverse. Do you have a better small one-handed option phone out there? Let me know. I'd love to hear it.